Hello everyone. This week we are looking at an artist from Detroit named Tyree Guyton. Uh, Tyree's neighborhood, after he returned to it, was abandoned and a lot of people didn't live there anymore. Uh, he wanted to bring some life back into the neighborhood and so he decided to turn the old abandoned houses into works of art. Um, so following this, this is Tyree, and here is a story all about his life. Magic Trash, a story of Tyree Guyton and his art, illustrated by Vanessa Brantley Newton. A winter chill whooshed down Heidelberg Street. Young Tyree Guyton buttoned his coat. Pop! His last button flipped into the gutter. He dove after it, then dug through the frosty leaves. He pried a popsicle stick from the ice. He hoisted a bicycle wheel off the curb. He scooped up a baseball cap buried in the snow. Pockets clanking, Tyree darted home. A home on the east side of Detroit that already bulged with tin. Shop around, Tyree sang along with the radio as he unloaded the day's finds. His mama didn't earn enough money sewing and cleaning to buy new shoes, much less bikes and balls. So he zapped fun into amazing junk that others tossed away. Popsicle sticks became boards to build a house. The cap soared like a rocket ship. The wheels bounced, spokes jumping, dots danced. Let rockets fly, boards tower high, bounce, jump, and dance, magic trash. Tyree barely heard the thump thwack of his brother's games while he dreamed up designs. In school, he sat alone drawing pictures. When his report card arrived, his asked aunt, is Tyree dumb? Maybe crazy, his mama whispered. Then one sunny day when Tyree was nine, his grandpa Sam, a house painter, plopped a brush into his hands. Paint the world, grandpa said. Tyree dipped into grandpa's can of colors, sloshing purple, slapping yellow, aiming his brush like a magic wand. Abracadabra. Tyree's shyness vanished. Sweet apples crunched when he glopped the red. He'd never seen Lake Huron, but now it splashed in a pool of blue. Like new, Grandpa said of a glistening ladder. Tyree smiled and swirled the shade of green. Other kids on his street giggled and razzed. Look at his green face! Ha! Green junk! Still, Tyree zoomed from bent bottle caps to rusty wheels. Grandpa Sam's world, words twirled in his head. I'm going to be an artist, Tyree said. His mama hung her head. That's not a job. He peered into Grandpa's twinkling eyes. Tyree clenched his brush. He would be an artist. Yes. Brush greens and blues on wheels and shoes. Slosh, slap, and splash. Magic trash. At age 12, Tyree squinted into spiraling smoke as National Guard tanks rolled down nearby Mount Elliott Street. All his life, neighbors had raced out of town to live in the new suburbs. Now, some who stayed exploded in rage like shaken bottles of Verner's ginger ale. Tyree gawked, teeth chattering. Rioters were burning buildings in his neighborhood. When he grew to be 16, Tyree, too, left the shapes and hues of Heidelberg Street to seek a new life. He marched as a soldier. He inspected cars in a factory. He doused fires as a firefighter. But he never forgot about painting the world, so he enrolled in art school to learn more about colors, lines, and designs. At last, Tyree bolted back home to Heidelberg. When he returned, though, his street had changed. Houses sat deserted, creeping with spirits of owners who had run away from the neighborhood. Tyree tipped over trash, lots of trash, and troublemakers lurked. They snuck into hollow houses. They even set fire to one. Woo, spirits whirl, new trouble swirl, kick, burn, and hurl, magic trash. No, cried Tyree, not on this street. His mama still lived in the same house. Grandpa Sam painted pictures inside now. 
Tyree grabbed his brush and burrowed through the rubbish. He cast spells on suitcase, suitcases, toilets, and slide trombone. Before the colors dried, Grandpa Sam hurried out to help. They painted the busted bus. They tied shoes to trees. They flung broken bites and cast off tires on burned out buildings and forgotten yarns. And they painted faces of God in blue, black, and orange. Their streets sparkled. When trouble still sizzled in one discarded home, Tyree coated it in dots and squares of pink, ye blue, yellow, and purple. Then perched the magenta watchdog on the porch. Dopey dealing thieves hustled from its view, chased away by bright paint and barking trash. Tyree named the one home Dotty Waddy and another Fun House. Spying hungry, crying children, he dangled broken baby dolls on telephone poles and rooftops. Dolls sobbed with each puff of wind. Maybe now others would see. Bright colors flash, scared dealers dash. Bark, cry, and swing, magic trash. Some people squawked about the garbage. A few neighbors complained to the city. The mayor and his helpers stomped. Soon, bulldozers roared up to the project to crush every doll and board. You can't do that, the neighbors yelled as dust swooped to the treetops. Get out of here, others screamed. Tyree's trash is beautiful. Tyree scrambled to snatch a few pieces. This is my art, he cried. But the dots and stripes and baby dolls lay bashed and smashed and still. Tyree rubbed his eyes. Grandpa Sam poked at piles. Old houses talk, some neighbors squawk. Crash, bash, and smash, magic trash. Art had filled Tyree and Grandpa Sam's lives. Now, 93, Grandpa Sam had grown too old to help. Never stop painting, Grandpa said, squeezing Tyree's hand. And then Tyree stood alone with the brushes, paint, and trash. He wasn't alone for long, though. We can help, neighbors called. Your colors and dots chased away those thieves. Together, they shoveled, swept, and hauled in new trash. Then, after eight years of painting and rebuilding, neighbors heard wreckers screech a second time. Faces of God watched while the city crushed two more houses. No, Tyree yelled. Tyree and his neighbors were hopping mad. The street is ours, they said. We'll never quit. They marched downtown to tell their story to a judge and jury. The city argued that Heidelberg Street was a garbage dump. No, decided the court. It is art. Tyree's work survived. The next day, Tyree and his neighbors began anew, aiming their brushes like magic wands. Children sang as they hammered and spattered designs. Even former troublemakers returned, ready to rake, sweep, and build. United by trash, they all cast a spell on the street, brightening their home for good. Word of Heidelberg Street spread far. It blazed across the air. Folks from Canada, Kenya, and Japan scurried to the neighborhood. They stated, wow, look at that. Tyree waved his brush. Welcome. In a warm breeze, dots danced, gleaming cast-offs jangled and jumped. Let rockets fly, boards tower high. Bounce, jump, and dance, magic trash. The end. So for our lesson this week, I want you to imagine that there is another house um, on Heidelberg Street where all these houses are um, that needs to be... Uh, painted or designed um, like the other ones in the style and um, that you are in charge of deciding how it will be designed. Um, so you can follow along here. I'm just showing you uh, one way to draw a house started with a rectangle or a square. There's another rectangle and a triangle and then I'm just connecting the two lines here. This is the 
um, basic shape for the house that we are um, drawing. And you can decide um, some of the other details, like the windows and uh, what shape you want them to be. Um, but whatever you draw, uh, make sure that you are drawing really, really big here. Um, we're not looking for a teeny tiny house because we need to add a lot of detail um, on our design on the house. So make sure that you're drawing super big, um, no matter if you're on a tablet or you're painting or you're using a whiteboard or just paper, pencil, crayon. Make sure that you're going um, really big so that you have lots of room. Um, I noticed on Tyree's houses, a lot of them have porches. And that sounds pretty nice to me right about now, being outside on a porch. So I included one on mine, too. Now I'm just drawing in some windows. I made one of them a uh, circle, the, the attic probably. And the rest are going to be uh, rectangles. I decided to add more detail here and make the roof part um, a green and then I'm going over it um, with some scallop lines to make the, um, the shingles of the roof. Just wanted to add in um, some details here. And then I noticed in the pictures of the houses as well that um, you can't really see inside the windows. Um, so I'm making all of the windows um, this dark black color that you can't see into. Um, once you've got your house all ready, you're going to decide what design or objects you want to place on it. Um, I'm doing a design um, with, I'm going to be using a yellow, orange, red, and blue color. And I'm going to make these wiggly shapes. I love these wiggly shapes. <laughs> they remind me um, of sour gummy worms and uh, spaghetti noodles. And I just think they're so fun and playful. And um, we talk about the primary colors a lot, yellow, red, and blue. Um, and they're some of my favorites as well. So that's what I decided to um, design the, the house in. Um, so I'm just going through and adding these. Um, on the first round, I tried not to have them uh, touch too much. Um, but then I was looking again at the pictures, especially the ones with the polka dots, and I noticed um, there's just so, so, so many, and I wanted to make my house's design look like that. So I went back in for a second round and added even more uh, squiggly wiggly lines. Uh, I finished with a few more details. I added in um, some grass at the bottom, and then I added um, a sun at the top. This is optional, but the more details, the better usually. <laughs> so when you're all done, make sure to take a picture of your work, upload it, and fill out the exit ticket. Good luck.